Good morning, folks. Suppose you were tasked with the most honest investigation of climate change you could imagine. Would you just look at natural causes, just human causes, or would you believe the best truth could be found by weighing them both? Most of us would choose C, but our governments and the UN have expressly chosen B in their terms of reference, written by high school dropout Maury Strong. I'm not making that up. Such that they are not even allowed to consider natural causes or contributing factors. This is a key point of the Agenda 21 Counter-Strike, the video series on our website, but it also makes you think about the billions being spent on policy, rules changes, procedures, restrictions, new laws, plans, implementations, all based off what should be considered a false pretense. Anyway, NASA's Earth Observatory snapping photos of the California wildfire. Can't turn on the news and miss this one. Just like you couldn't watch this channel the last 50 days and miss that the east coast of South America is getting annihilated with rain in the southern summer. This area is used to rain. This is just preposterous. Joint Typhoon Warning Center with a couple alerts for this area. We've previously eyed the lows spinning on and just off land down here. Between Australia and New Zealand, the top watch today is still the rain here. Bit north of that is the third of the tropical developments, saying hello to the Philippines at the moment. Just between Madagascar and Africa, we see another system coming together. That's the fourth or fifth there already this year. Coming to Europe, we no longer see a tight spin on a single low. One could argue there are more than one, but above all others, I'm eyeing the little southern shift towards Portugal and España. Much of the same story in the Western Hemisphere as yesterday. Those Pacific lows are still diabolical looking, but stagnant in movement towards land. Cold dipping down across the central states. They have indeed added overlays to the whirlwind map. In addition to wind, we have temperature, the total precipitable water, very much like the mimic page, the cloud water vapor levels, and the sea level pressure across the globe. Enjoy. Solar wind is calm as they come. This will make the incoming minor CME today easy to notice and study. KP Index is on the ground waiting for impact as well as the smooth curving sensitive metrics. They've cleared their schedules in anticipation. I myself am anticipating the incoming coronal hole up north. Condition Index went from C to B yesterday and is pushing B plus as this closes in. Solar flaring is indeed making a return but it's not from any of the earth facing spots. They don't look too good. All the new activity is coming from the limb. We'll check that out and add a big picture view to close. Eyes open. No fear, it's 6.15 a.m. Eastern Time and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.